Yes. All right. Okay, I am live now on YouTube. I'm so excited and I'm um, waiting forward to today's live meeting with my creative family. Who's excited like me? Let me see if you're excited like me. Right. Let's see. Okay. Please, if you have questions you want to ask me, you're free to drop a message in the chat box. I'm going to read your question out. And if you're glad to be here with me again today here on YouTube, please, I would appreciate if you can drop a message if you're glad to be live with me here on YouTube. Anybody, anybody, let me see. My... Please, if you're one of my students, I'll be glad if you can drop a message and let me know if you are fully happy to be with me live again here on YouTube. Can I see the people who are live to be with me here on YouTube? All right. Um, okay, so let's just start, all right? Uh, Okay, so I can see peace. Adeshola, Adeshola is saying, very excited to be live with you, Chief. Yeah, I'm happy to be live with you, peace. All right, um, who else again? Um, this is Omoru Yimabel. I'm happy to, I'm happy to be live with you. All right. Okay, so let's dive into today's um. Let's go straight into the purpose of today's um training. All right, um, ja. Jachaik Okwo. Sorry, uh, please permit, pardon me if I did not pronounce your name correctly. Um, but I'm sure you know yourself when I call your name. All right, so I'm happy you're here with me today. Uh, D Drama Graphics. Drama Graphics. Um, I'm glad you made it. Uh, you are longer. I'm also glad you uh, make, made it to today's um, live training. Ayo, yeah. All right, so let's start, okay? Bob, um, before I start the meeting, all right, I want to quickly share some um, tips with you before I get to the design that we are, you guys are going to see me uh, do today, all right? Now, you know, I'm sure so many designers have come across, you've all come across this, um, you know this thing called creative block and you know you always fight to it knowing how to defeat it all right i'm not going to go into details on how to defeat creative block here i'm only going to focus on the uh understanding what uh you are asked to do like understanding the problem you are asked to solve you know every design problem um, every design project have a job to do and that job is to influence the reader all right and like i always say to you guys whenever you're asked to work on design project the two people you need to have in mind is the client who is like the uh the gate all right the gate to making the design become what everybody will see then the second person is the the viewers so if you're able to set to the client the viewers are going to have the chance to see the design but most time like i always say clients always destroy the look of our projects and you know i always tell you guys that it's always good for you to educate your clients all right now uh, this project is titled um take it by force all right it's called take it by force all right that's the title of this project and it's a church project like you already know and um when i'm asked to work on this project all right um what i was told was to uh, create something that shows uh um you know something that shows being free 
all right like you being free from um, what is holding you down okay and if you want to be free from what's holding you down it means there should be something there should be a force all right there should be a force so um i know so many of you are good at knowing the right illustration to use in fact the illustration i'm going to use today is going to be similar to what so many of you are used to you know but there's something i always put into every design project i work on which is whenever i notice i'm doing the same um style the same concept that so many designers are um you know good at using doing or i know i'm creating a project that is close to what people are used to saying i try my best to add to the image all right i do i try my best to, to add to the uh what people are already used to in order to create that difference and like i always say to you guys that we're in a world where you know people want to be entertained all right and how we entertain them as creatives is when we do the unexpected now the doing of, the doing of the unexpected does not mean you should now um do something that is not real like something that you you yourself know is not possible all right now the doing the doing the unexpected is doing what is possible in an enter in an entertainment way in a surprise way all right so um i already have the image i'm going to use for this project and i'm going to show you guys now you know i told you guys that, that the title is take it by force and i'm using this image here now the reason why i decided to use this image is because you know like i said the project is about um setting uh, being free from what is holding you down and i know that so many of us know that one of the tools used to depict uh um you know locking people up or locking things up is chain and metal you know if i i'd use rope if i use rope it won't really depict that energy but when you see metal you know what metal is you know what how strong it is to break a metal so i decided to use this image to depict that uh um you know make it the project tough all right and there's nothing that depict the force here which is one of the things i need every one of you to you know to take note of you know when you have the the um uh, the right illustration to use you need to ask yourself that okay what can i add to this project to really tell the story the right way because as designers we are storytellers we still we tell stories with design we uh inform the audience and part of how we do this like what i said previously or what i said earlier is is true entertaining them so now i already have already i've gotten the right image to use here but this image is not really giving that force because um we're saying the title is saying take it by force so when there's it by force stuff all right and sure so many of you know that there should be something that should depict that energy that's that's uh um, um power on the project so right now we can't really see that here and i'm going to show you guys how i'm going to apply that to this project i already have the image i'm going to apply to this here which is this all right and i'm going to apply this to this so now i'm going to hide this and i'm going to quickly go into the um you know the putting together of the images all right so we need to take this out from the background so i'm going to make a copy of this and I need to crop this out and I'll go on the channel tab here. So I'm using Photoshop 2023, but every move I'm making on in this video are uh, what you are going to, what you'll be able to achieve with the other versions of Photoshop. All right, so I'm going to hit Control L on my keyboard now to activate levels because I want to take this out from the background and I'm going to move this to the side and move this here. Now I've got this image from Google. All right, so and the image the keywords that i use is um metallic particles all right metallic particles and i decided to do this now for those of you who don't know that you can actually get the image to use to achieve your project from google all right but where it, most time it always looks difficult is knowing how to combine the image together. And I know what that's what most of 
we creatives fight to it all right and it's not really it's not like it's hard what will help you is understanding what the project is all right take your time to digest the project so i hit ctrl i on my keyboard to reverse the uh the color of the chat of the um channel here and i'm gonna hold down control and click on the thumbnail of the blue channel that i applied the levels to all right so i'm gonna go back to the layer tab again now and i'll double click on this layer to um to give me the opportunity to select my layer all right so i'm gonna hold on i'm gonna hit ctrl j to cut out the particles from the layer all right so i'm gonna draw uh a lasso i'm gonna i'm gonna draw a marquee shape all right i'm gonna draw a marquee shape here all right and i'm gonna hit ctrl j to cut this out and let's see if i hide this now you see we have just this so i'm gonna drag this and drop right here for now all right and let's see if i act I'm going to convert this to a smart object and activate the free transform and scale this down. So for those of you that don't really know how to use Photoshop, all right, the reason why I convert my layer to a smart object is because I know that I may still end up changing the scale of the image. So in order for me not to lose the quality of the image or the layer, I decided to convert it to a smart object. I hope you get that. So I'll go back to the, uh, my exercise file again and let's see what else i can crop out from here so i'm going to just take this on this side like that and i'm going to hit ctrl j and i'm going to drag this again and drop here you know one of the things that always make images all right illustration look like you know it's actually coming from you is when you add to it now it's not every time you add to images there are some images that are okay the way you know you save them from the internet all right so but in order for you to tell your story well in order for you to really entertain your viewers in order for you to create the unexpected it's always good for you to do this all right but please again do not do this if you don't really understand the message all right don't do it when you don't understand the problem you are asked to solve okay so i'm going to make this a bit smaller like that so the idea here is to create that um the broken effects all right so i'll make this bigger like that and convert this to a smart objects and make this also a bit bigger this should be somewhere here like that and this can come here i'm gonna activate the free transform and so the shortcut for the free transform is ctrl t okay so i'll make a copy at the again and let's just move this to somewhere here and make this a bit smaller like that all right now this is good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a group, all right? So I'm going to shift select all the layers and hit control and G, all right? Then I'm going to make a copy of this and call this particles, all right? Particles, B, C, K, up, all right? So this is going to be like the backup and I'm going to call this particles. Now we need to convert this to a smart object. So I'll convert this now. But I'm right. I'm gonna right click on the on the group layer and hit convert to smart object. Now, if I zoom in, all right, you see we're having all these white lines around our image, which is really affecting the success of this project here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold on control and click on the thumbnail of the lay of the layer and add a layer max to this so we're trying to take out those lines all right so i'm gonna go to filter now make sure you are still on the layer mask of the uh you know the particle layers and i'm gonna go to order here and select minimum so when i hit minimum you see we can't see those effects those lines around the image again and i'm gonna select the okay button like that all right now 
you know there's another thing i i you know always say to you guys which is um unity all right unity is very very important in graphic design now making your project look like they work together all right like they are together so if you are the type who is looking at going into photo manipulation all right you need to you need to take note of what i'm sharing with you here now all right so when you're making photo photo manipulation making your elements your illustrations look look like they belong together is what always make it look successful so right now we need to make this uh i'm gonna call it deep brace all right to look like um they are, they are actually from this all right this chain right here all right so to do that all right i'm going to select the color balance all right so i'm going to come to my adjustment tab here now if you can't find your adjustment tab simply go to windows here and activate it here all right so i'm going to select color balance here now and i'm going to look at the color on the image here so i can see the combination of red and orange i mean red and yellow which is orange all right so right now we are going to mix the color now this is where your fine art uh knowledge comes in because i'm sure so many of you who are fine art students I'm sure you have heard this when you were in school back then where they teach you how to mix colors so that's what we're going to do here now all right so i'm going to go on that mid tone here all right and i'm going to move this to this side now this is affecting the entire project so we need to fix that so i'm going to hold i'm going to click on the clip icon here because i only want this to affect the layer of the debris all right so i'm going to move this to this side here and i'm going to move this here now you see we're beginning to have the same color from the um you know the chain here so i'm going to move this more to this side and move this more to this side now we can't really see the effect of the color balance on this uh um, particles here and the reason why it's like that is because the darker the color balance is not affecting the shadow area so we need to go under the tone here and switch this to shadow and make the same move again by moving this in to this side and move this in like that all right so i think we need to have more yellow all right or less yellow now this part here is where you now need to be going back and front all right you need to be don't say because okay this is the setting that Caesar used so i'm going to just stick to it no there's a part of you looking at the image yourself and see what you know is best for what you are trying to achieve all right so i'm going to move this to right about here and let's see if i add more red okay so the red is now beginning to look too much on it so i'm going to move this here and move this here cool now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go under selective color right now and i'm going to click on the clip icon now and i'll go under the neutral color here now the neutral color here simply affect the mid-tone on the image all right so i'm going to switch i'm going to go under my yellow here and make the same move again and add more yellow to this and the opposite side of my blue cyan here is red which is um now you guys can see the <laughs> you can't see this the spellings here but just know that there is there's this color here that is red there's a color here that is um green all right and this side here is blue so we have r g and b all right so right now i'm going to add red which is on this side here so i'm going to move to this side all right so i'll move this in like that all right so i think i'm adding the yellow too much all right so i'm going to just move the yellow back a bit and let's see if i move this to this side you see we're beginning to have the same color from the image now the last part here is to select the layer and go on the hue saturation because it looks as if the color from the particles is is taking more attention than you know the color we are applying to the image so i'm going to dial down the saturation by pushing this down like that now notice as i'm pushing this down i'm beginning to see the color from this image now as i'm making all this move i'm looking at this side of the image all right i'm looking at this side of the image all right so i'm going to move this here and let's go back to the color balance and i'm going to move this back a bit and move this no sorry that's too much so i'm going to move this back a bit. now you see we're beginning to have that color 
from our chain on the particles here all right so i'm gonna move this here like that and i think this is looking the way i want it all right so it's time for us to do the um to make create that broken effect here on the image all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put everything here again in a group like that and i'm gonna call this again um parts color okay and we are going to make a copy of this then this should be here and i'm going to tag this again b c k up i hope you get that all right so i'm going to close this and i'm going i mean i'm going to hide the layer all right so i'll right click on this and select convert to smart object then i'll go to filter uh blur and select radio blur all right so the idea here is to create that effect here all right so uh i have my radio blur here and i'll go on the zoom and this side here because this box here simply means the frame of my project all right so you need to move this to the area where you have the particles so i'm going to move this down here like that and you know just move this up like that and let's see if i hit the okay button we should have this now but this is too strong for the uh, particles so i'm going to double click on the layer to activate the radial blow back now which is one of the advantage of converting your layer to a smart object so i'm going to move this down a bit and hit the ok button and let's see this is getting close to what i want to achieve and i'm going to double click on the layer again and just reduce this and hit the ok button yeah it's almost there we're almost there so i'll double click on it again and let's see if i move this down and hit the ok button good good this is almost where i want to get to good this is good now there's another thing i want to do here which is um i'm going to activate levels here and i'm going to increase the brightness now i need to click on the clip icon then i'm going to increase the brightness of this like that all right so I'll increase the brightness of this just like that and i'm going to hit ctrl i on the layer and i'm going to select the brush tool now we need to zoom in all right so uh, we need to now add our light to the particles in order to create that, you know, unity. All right. So uh, this light, there's this light on this side of the chain. All right. So if, I'm going to make sure I apply the same light to the particles. So I'm going to switch to white here and I'll go under my brush settings here and make sure I'm on the soft round brush. All right. So I'm going to turn on pen pressure because I'm using a graphic stabler here. So I'm going to just apply the lights here like that. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to be very, very fast, you know, with this. Now, simple things like this are mostly what always make our project look super real. All right. You get that. So I'm going to just apply this here, 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 like that. You know, very, very fast, you know, with this. Okay. I'm sure somebody is picking something from this okay yeah then um we are going to make a copy of this then i'll activate the free transform and i'm going to scale this down and rotate this this way and this can come right here then i'm going to reduce the radial blow on this all right so this should be uh, a bit smaller like that and for this i'm going to reduce the uh, i'm going to dial down the saturation here because um i always like to create that you know as dynamic effects on my projects so i'm going to move this down like that all right let's see what we have now this is looking more like it so i'm going to make a copy of this and i'm going to convert it, this again to a smart object and i'll go to filter blur and select radio blur then i'll make the same move again i'll move this up a bit 
and go under the zoom option here and move this to this area here and select the OK button like that. Now, the way it is now, all right, uh, this is really affecting the entire project, which I don't want, all right. So I'm going to select the, I'm going to click here to add the layer marks to the project and I'm going to select the brush tool and increase my brush size like that and make sure that I'm on the opposite color of my layer mask, which is black. And I'm going to just gently take this out from here like that. All right. And I'm going to reduce the opacity of this. So the idea here is to make people's focus be on this side of the project. But right now, I think I'm still not feeling the color on the, uh, you know, the, the particles here. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under, uh, I think it's this particular one. Yeah, this is it. So I'm going to select the um, hue saturation like that. And I'll move this down a bit. Now you see we're beginning to see that color on the image. And for the shadow part of this image here, this is looking too dark. All right. So I'm going to add, I'm going to change the color of the shadow. Then I'll go under my color balance again. But before I get to the color balance, all right, I am going to use the selective color to increase the color of the shadow. So I'm going to go under selective color here and I'll go under black here. And let's see if I move this up a bit like that. And I'm going to add red to this. All right. So I'm going to add red to this and I'm going to add just soft yellow. And I just soft yellow like that to this now the red is too much so i'm going to just move that down like you know like that and let's see this is looking like this is looking real and looking super metallic all right so because this is something that got to do with um you know trying to uh depict force here yeah? all right um it's always good to uh make the color on the project also depict that um you know that force here because you know Aside from you using the right, using you using the right illustration, there's this part of you understanding the right color grade you're supposed to apply to the project. All right. So first off, I'm going to add um, a curve adjustment, and I'm going to just move this down like so, and push this up a bit, you know, like that. And I'm going to add red to this. I'm going to really add more red to you know to this, like you know, like that, and. I'll go on the yellow again, on that blue, all right, because the opposite of blue is yellow. And I'm going to move this, you know, down, you know, like, like that. And I'll still add the color balance to this again. I'll go on the, the color balance here and make the same move. Just add more red to this like that. And this is already looking more tough like I'm, I actually want it to look. So I'm going to move this, just move this a bit, not too much. And I'm going to move this down like that. Cool. Then the next thing we need to do now is to take this to camera roll. All right. So I'm going to hold down Ctrl, Shift, Alt, and E to stamp visible the project. And I'm going to convert this to a smart object and go to filter here and select camera roll filter. All right. Now, while we're waiting for the camera roll filter to pop up, please, I want to be sure if you guys are actually enjoying what I'm doing here. If you're having fun, watching this tutorial please i would appreciate if you can drop a message and say yes i'm actually having fun here all right so if you're having fun please i would appreciate if you can drop a message okay um are you along is saying you are creating magic already <laughs> then i said demand um Omar really said very excited to be here all right so let's continue guys so i'm gonna go straight on the basic here and i'm gonna start with the contrast so because i really want the shadow to have to i really want that shadow to give that energy to the project so i'm going to increase the uh, the contrast you know like that now look at what the contrast is doing it's really give, giving the project the tough you know look all right so but don't over apply the contrast because i'm still going to apply other filters to this all right for my shadow here i'm going to move that down because of the shadow need to pop more all right then under my um under the whites here all right i'm going to reduce the white a bit because this area of the project is looking too bright for me all right so i'm going to move that down like that all right then um for the texture i'm going to add more texture to this because the 
um texture on the image is another thing that i believe or oh, that is going to add more depth to the project so i'm going to add contrast to the pixels by pushing this up like that now look at this look at how tough and how um heavy this is looking already so for the vibrance all right i'm going to add more vibrance all right i really want the colors to pop all right so i'm going to add more uh, you know um vibrance to this and i'm going to fold this and i'll go straight on the detail here and add more sharpening to the project all right like i said i already want to see the texture from the uh the metal all right so i'm going to add more sharpening to this to bring out the details like that all right so let's go straight to the color uh mixer so for the color mixer i really want the red to pop so i'm going to move this up you know like that and i'm going to close this and go straight to the color grading which is one of the uh interesting part of what i'm doing here so on the the mid tone here i want to have this orange color like that and under the shadow i want to have red all right right no, no not that type of red all right so that red is looking too <laughs> too bloody all right so i'm going to move this to red this should be on red like that okay and yes like that like that that's exactly what i am looking for so let's see if we can um, add more depth to the shadow so i'm gonna move okay let's just move this up a bit not too much there all right so for this i really want to have more depth here now look at how beautiful this is looking oh i'm loving this all right so for the mid-tone i'm gonna just you know reduce that also like that okay now the next thing is to add effect to this so i'm going to go on that grain here and add more noise to this all right so the reason why i'm making all this adding of noise texture is to give the project that tough look all right so that's why i'm making all these you know move here all right then now um, let's see what else are we still missing um i'm sure you guys are having fun i don't know about you but i'm actually having fun here um yep yeah, so i'm gonna select the okay button and bam this is what we have so let's do the before and after so this is the after and this is the before so i prefer the after so the other thing i want to do here is um i really want to create that making people know that something actually happened here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new layer by holding on alt and click on the new layer icon and call this lights all right so i'll change this to color dodge and check the fill with color dodge neutral color 50 percent gray no not 50 percent sorry neutral color i mean fill with color dodge neutral color black all right so i'm gonna select the okay button all right then i'm gonna select the uh, color picker here and then pick this color from here all right then i'm gonna select the okay button and go back to the my brush tab here and i'm gonna select the brush too and i'm going to reduce my brush size make sure i'm on the add brush reduce my brush size here and zoom in and um yeah so i'm gonna just gently apply the colors right now this is looking out of what i'm looking for so i'm gonna go to the soft round brush here and i don't want red i actually want yellow all right i want yellow so i'm gonna fix that part later so i'm gonna just move this here like there all right and do the same move here so i can even select my pen pressure option here and just draw this here draw this here draw this here like that so as to just give the project that you know, that energy effect you know so draw this here 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 don't worry we're gonna fix this yellow this reddish color that we have here is not really helping so i'm going to um you know, just put this here like that. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this is it. All right, so for this red here, all right, I am going to, um, let's see if I cut this from here like that and hit Control J. All right, and I'll move this down here, move this here. Make this a bit bigger, like 
there all right um let's see i actually i like the texture from this side here so i'm gonna cut from here all right and ctrl j and i'll move this here take this out make this bigger like that all right then i'm going to select the eraser tool make sure i'm on the soft round blush here and let me even take this out from here and use my now, now this brush came with photoshop all right so you can i'm sure you guys are going to find it on your brush preset so then i'm going to switch to black all right so i'm going to be on black here and i'm going to just apply this sorry i'm doing it on the wrong layer guys i need to be on this layer so I'm going to just gently apply it here, like that. Um, let's see. Yes. So apply it here, like, like that. Okay. Good. So we can even use the eraser tool now to just, you know, take this out from here, from here. Just randomly take it out. All right, to give it that, you know, just random effects like that. Let's see what we have now. Yeah, this is good. All right, then now uh, for this, I'm also going to take the, some of the red color out. So I'm going to make sure that my brush is set to uh, the color picker is set to black here. And I think it's going to take it out from here. Oh, Take it out from here like that. And then for this, I use control U and just this this. Or let's just see if we can change that here like that. All right, shift the razor to and take this out from here. Now from here, just like that. And I think this is it. This is it. Got the brush to again and let's see if i switch to yellow um let me switch to this yellowish color here let's see if we apply this here like that still gonna give us something no don't go to that area <laughs> all right let's see what we have now this is good this is good all right so if i hit the control u on the light layer now and let's reduce the the saturation because um it's not always nice if we have too much attention on that area there all right so i'm gonna select the okay button and now i think this is um looking okay so let's start adding our text to the project all right so i already have it typed here so i'm gonna drag that and drop right here like that and i'm gonna make this visible all right and let's start playing with this okay so um i'm gonna hide this for now hide the venue the dates all right the venue the date and um the time all right then i'm gonna make fuss real big okay and this is going to go right here and I'm going to paste this like that and activate the free transform and make this really big. All right. Make it big. Make it big. All right. So I'm going to close the space between the letters. So I'm adjusting the tracking like that. And um, yep. So for now, I'm going to make it white. All right. Let's just make it white. It's possible we're going to change the color later. But for now, let's just stick to white. And for the other information, which is part of the title, I am going to take, um, make take big. All right. I'm going to make take big. So what I'll do is I'll turn this off, make a duplicate of this and type take. Okay. And this can come here like that. And we can push this down. All right. So in order to even give this more um 
give making it have that adventure look all right um let's see if i can use one of my i'm going to use one of um or let's use a serif type all right so i'm going to look for a serif type that i know is best for this let's use play fair let's try play fair first and let's see if i use play fair for this um is play fair going to work I didn't want to give it that adventure look. Okay, you know what? Let's just leave it like let's just remain <laughs> with this, all right? So I'm going to make a copy of this now and paste the all the texts. And I'm going to close the space between the rows. All right. Um, sorry guys, I know someone, so many of you still need to go to work tomorrow. Um, I'm, I'm happy you guys did not sign out. All right. I'm sure you're actually having fun. If you're having fun, please, I would appreciate if you can drop a message. All right. Let me know if you're actually enjoying what's going on here. If you're having fun, if you're enjoying what I'm doing, please, I would appreciate if you can drop a message. All right. So I'm going to move this here like that so we have take it by force and the take it the by force can be um let's say can we use a semi bold here okay you know what let's just leave it as um this or we can turn this off and at times i like using sentence case for my title um should we just use tab or true okay let's leave it like this and i'm going to um change this to i don't know why something just keep telling me to use the play fair i don't know let's try play fair so one of the reason why i'm going with the serif and trans serif type is because i really want to give the project this um adventure look so let's use this all right so i'm gonna tell you guys why i decided to use the bold italics so now the reason why i use the italics here is to depict movement and we're talking about you know we're talking about force here and before any force can happen there should be a move all right so i decided to use the italics to depict the move here all right and i'm sure somebody get that all right so i'm gonna change this to b like that and um yeah so pairing font is beautiful but there's a strategic way to do it so I activate the free transform and i can even still skew this all right and let's see if i move this here and activate the free transform and make this bigger no 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 this is actually fine all right it's fine this way and um yep so take it by force. So I can even move this down like that. No, 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 no. Don't rotate it twenty. So we can move this here or here, or you know what? Don't play too much. All right, don't let us play too much. Okay. Um. So I, why I decided to make you guys see this again is I want everyone of you to know that there are times when you know you need to when you no, make any move and you found out that that move is not working. All right um there's a part of you going back to fix it all right and one of the reasons why i'm avoiding the playing too much on the project is because i already have too much effect here all right so me now you know doing all this um effect italics it may not help the project all right so that's why I'm, i decided to go back to the way it works all right um so let's see what's is the font name so i'm going to use most right again or we can even try let's try another font here let's try to use a more narrow font let's try uh let's try betters all right so i'm trying to make it simple here guys i'm trying to make the project simple so let's see if i use bebas yeah i think i like bebas for this so for this if i'm going to use bebas so i can make this i mean i can put the title on one line yeah and it will fly yes so let's try bebas let's use the display type so i'll use bebas now 
Good. Good, 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 good. I am loving this. So I'm going to add space between the letters like that. And this can come to the center like this. All right. So because this is small, all right, because the font size, the character size of the eat by is small, I'll prefer to make it this black so it can draw more attention better. All right. So I'll leave it as black so it can draw attention because if I use white, people may not see it and people may end up giving the title another meaning. So I'll leave it as black like that and I'll move this to the center of my frame here. All right. And um, for the social media, I can move that below this and, you know, make it a bit bigger like that. All right. And uh, so the title and the social media are together and this can move down here like so. So let's start putting the other things that we need to put on the project to help it. So I'm going to put this in a group and call this title and social. Nobody's going to ask you why you did that. All right. So I'm going to move make the venue visible now and i'm going to make sure my venue aligned with one of the letters here you know so let's just make it the letter o all right and move this here like that and make this a bit bigger cool now for the date all right i always like to put my date above the venue so my date's gonna come right here above the venue and I'm going to change this to October, which is the date. So it should be when is the October? October. Like that. And it has to be October 11th. All right. I wish somebody can help me confirm that, but I'm sure it's October 11th. All right. So I'm going to move this down here like that. And then for the time. All right. So I'm going to put the time next to the um the date so i'm gonna call this 6 p.m and i can change the color of this to this color here to create that contrast and um yep so i'm done guys and this is the final project i don't need this okay it should be 6 30 it should be 6 30 not six o'clock so i'm gonna make this 6 30. bam all right and we can move this up a bit like that okay there's one other thing i need to add all right I need to let people know it's a midweek service so i'll make a copy of this and move this here and i can call this m b w k space s e r v i c e all right then this should be all cap okay and we can make this a bit bigger so people know it's a midweek service all right then we can move it no sorry we should be moving this together with this let's activate our guide to see if oh we're picking the guide up so i'm gonna move it back here yep like that to see if everything is balanced we can move it here because of the details we have here. So moving the date, the, this information to this area is going to hide it. So it's better we move it to a place where people can easily see it. You know, like I always say to you guys, your viewers, all right, they are very, very important. All right, so they are very important. So I can move this a bit. No, all right. So the idea of adding adding this is for people to know it's a midweek, you know, service. All right, so we can even move it above this. All right, and move this. Sorry, move this down. I know some of you are okay with where it works. You know, the way I work at times is always fun. All right, so I can. So I really want to create more emphasis here because, like what the client said, I want people to know it's a midweek service. So it, I know some of you would want to make the midweek service midweek service very loud no but there are times where you need to do it this way so as to help the simplicity of the project so i'm going to turn this up and turn this on sorry turn on my pen pressure and turn on my hard brush and um 
yeah smooth should be 23 and i can just draw excuse me I can draw a shape here shape like this why is my shape growing banana on me now no that's too much guys don't laugh at me this is normal okay so i think my guide is not helping Okay, so I'll draw it again. Don't laugh at me, guys. It's normal. Uh, why not? Okay, so I think I need to turn my smooths and to move it up. Okay, cool. So then I can move this inside this like that and make it smaller like so i think the color of the shape is not even the same as the color from the text so i'm going to hold on control and click on the thumbnail of the layer and click on this and click on the ok button and make sure you're on the layer and hit hold backspace like that to apply the color and um we can even change it the font star character to create more font here. We've not we are not we are not above the three different character rules. I, I hope I'm right. Okay, you know what? Let's just leave it as um let's just keep it as this, all right? And yes. Oh, we can move it here. No, just leave it there. All right, cool. All right, guys, I hope you guys had fun and I hope you learned something from this video or from this training. If you do, please, I would appreciate it if you can give this video a thumbs up. This is what that is one of the ways that you guys can support my channel uh, because I'm going to be doing more uh, of um, tutorials like this for you guys. I would advise you hit the subscribe button if you have not subscribed. All right, and please share this with other creatives. Okay, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one peace everyone